My name's Darren Cullen, I'm an artist, I make work under the name Spelling Mistakes Cost Lives and I'm sat here in a mobile anti-shell greenwashing exhibition that I've brought to Glasgow for COP26. Um, it's a um, it's an exhibition about the way that oil companies have positioned themselves as uh, part of the solution to global warming while they continue to extract ever increasing amounts of fossil fuels. Um, it's about the, the kind of flimsy promises that they're making, um, the ineffective kind of green technologies that they're investing in as a distraction from uh, their main business, which is getting oil out of the ground and uh, fracking and uh, things like this. So it's, uh, it's an attempt to kind of puncture the absurdity of oil companies presenting themselves as a uh, the solution to global warming when they're actually the cause of global warming. He's been here outside Gal Gale in uh, in Govan for the last uh, for the last week as part of the uh, Govan Free State uh, um, festival kind of event, and it's moving up from Monday till Saturday at um, the Glasgow School of Art and Stowe College or the old Stowe College building. Uh, so it's going to be at the Stowe building from the um, 8th until the 13th of November, um, open every day to the public. So in the, inside the, uh, the bus itself there's a, a lot of exhibits, kind of satirical uh, dioramas and um, about uh, kind of exaggerating um, some of the policies and the, uh, the kind of um, the solutions that oil companies like Shell are presenting. Um, as part of their, their, their kind of greenwashing marketing spin on, on the issue. So uh, one, uh, one new technology that's presented in the bus is uh, polystyrene icebergs to replace all the melted icebergs because um, they won't, they're safer for ships and boats where uh, they won't melt until global temperatures reach 200 degrees Celsius. Uh, apocalyptic Lego diorama uh, which uses, because Shell and Lego were working together for, for, for decades and um, so I've got some of the real boxes that, sh uh, that Lego actually brought out in collaboration with Shell and then there's an apocalyptic uh, Lego diorama kind of showing the consequences of uh, something I didn't realise when I started doing this project is that um, fracking actually uses up to 10 million gallons of, of drinking water in, uh, to open a single oil well um, and that water is destroyed forever. So uh, I've got a little display about how Shell are going to uh, recycle that fracking water with all its chemicals and uh, um, into a refreshing drink for consumers to enjoy. Uh, a sarcastic look at apocalypse. Um, there's a, got a poster about how, what if we could air condition the planet using uh, hurricane power? Put together a 3D pie chart showing the uh, what Shell's investment strategy is in terms of renewable energy. They make they, their advertising is almost 100% images of renewable energy, but they're uh, they're only planning. And this is their only a plan for them to invest 10% of their annual budget in renewables. And there's a lot of debate about that. They're only around half that at the moment. And um, so the pie chart kind of shows, it's kind of like a visual representation of that investment. Um, and that Shell's current investment in renewables is the same amount as their marketing budget, which is, I find quite interesting. There's a selection of dioramas and uh, kind of interactive displays that looks, it looks like a marketing, marketing exercise on behalf of Shell, but it's actually a kind of anti-marketing, um, an anti-marketing, anti-greenwashing, uh, anti-propaganda suite. <laughs>